Welcome back guys, I am here with you to solve this problem number 23 of CSIR net December 2011. So let us firstly read it. So it says, for a positive integer n, let pn denote the space of all polynomial px with the coefficient in r such that degree of px is less than or equal to n and let bn denote the standard basis of pn given by bn is equal to this. Okay, this is your basis for pn. Now it says t is a transformation from p3 to p4, okay, defined by this formula and it says a is the matrix with respect to b3 and b4. Then you need to find out these values, okay. So in this question, what we have to do, we have to find out the matrix. So finding out a 5 cross 4 matrix will be little bit, uh, we can say little bit long process, okay. So what I will do, I will uh, I will show you how to find it in short, um, uh, in, in less time, okay. So firstly, what you have to do, you have to firstly write your basis. So what is your B3? B3 is 1, x, x square, x cube. What is your B4? B4 is just 1, x, x square, x cube, x4. This is your B4. Now firstly write what is your T? T is actually a transformation from where to where? P3 to P4. So it is given by t of px is given by uh, it's given by x square p dash x plus p of t dt. Okay, this is what the question is. And the, the this is what is given to us. Okay, now what you have to do, you have to construct a matrix of t with respect to b three and b four. This is what you have to do. Okay, this is what you have to do. So it's a 5 cross 4 matrix. Okay, it's a 5 cross 4 matrix. So firstly think over it how the entry will be calculated. Okay, so now see Tpx will lie where? Tpx will lie in P4. That means Tpx can actually be written as the linear combination of the elements of B4. Therefore, I am writing it as the linear combination of B4. So what's B4? alpha of x, okay, alpha 2, alpha 3 of x square, alpha 4 of x cube plus alpha 5 of x5, or oh, not 5, it's 4. So this is your Tpx. Now, what is the element that is required? Okay, so this will be a11, a12, a, a uh, it will be 2, 1, sorry. This will be a12 like this. Okay, this is a matrix. So you need the a3 a32 element of it a32 element of it means what third column and second one this one is required okay third row second column and you also need a33 that means third column third row okay so these are the two two element that that are required okay so what do you know about the matrix of a transformation if you replace this px with the element from b3 then you will after computing these coefficients you will get actually the column of that given matrix. That means if I replace this px with 1 where 1 is the element of b3 then after computing this alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4 and alpha 5 you will get your first column. If I replace this 1 with x then what you will get after computing this these coefficients what you will get your second column. So you need your second column or not? You, yes we need your second column because we need this element. So in order to find out this element we need this second column. That means I don't have to replace px with 1 because that is useless to me because I need this one. I do not, don't need this one, this element. So I am going to replace this px with 1, not with 1, sorry, with x. So now use this formula. So x square p dash x, this is our px. So p dash x will be 1. Therefore, you will get x square plus. Now integrate this. So what is your px? px is, what is your pt? pt is t. So after integrating, you will get x square over 2. So this, this means what you will get? You will get 3 by 2 of x square. Now just compare, okay, now just compare the coefficients. So by comparing the coefficients, what you will get? You will get alpha 1 to be 0, alpha 2 to be, okay, alpha 2 to be 0, but alpha 3 is 3 by 2. After this, you will get 2 more zeros. 
Now you need this element also. That means what you have to do? You have to replace it with x square. So if you replace it with x square, now your px is x square. So its differentiation will be 2x. Therefore, after multiplying, you will get 2x cube. Now after integrating, what is your pt? Your pt is t square. So after integrating it, you will get x cube over 3. So now th what is this? This is 7 over 3 x cube. You are getting my point? So now just compare the coefficient from this equation. By comparing the coefficient, what is your alpha 1? Alpha 1 is 0. Alpha 2 is again 0. Alpha 3 is again 0. Okay. Alpha 3 is again 0. Alpha 4 that you can compare. Okay. So alpha 4 is 7 over 3 and alpha 5 is can 0. You are getting my point or not? Okay. So now see. This one is a12, this one is a21, sorry I am wrong, this one is a12, this one is a22, this one is a32, so you need a32, this one is a31, a32, sorry I am wrong again, a13, a, a23, this is a33, that means a33 is 0. So you got your a33, you also got your a uh, a32 so which option will be correct then your second option will be correct and uh, okay I think yeah it's correct so all other options are uh, false okay so this is a very easy question dependent upon depending upon the matrix of the transformation of the linear transformation that you are given with okay so thank you guys